Hi everyone, what is up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. For today's video, we are going to be taking an in-depth look at all of my Charlotte Tilbury quads. You guys know Charlotte Tilbury is my favorite brand and I especially love her eyeshadows. They're just so, so pretty and I love collecting the quads and everything. So I have quite a few in my collection and I have showed you guys them very quickly in like my Charlotte Tilbury collection video, but I thought it would be fun to do like an in-depth video where we really go through all of the quads that I have, see what they all look like, swatch them special shade just in case you're wanting to buy one yourself you know which one would be the best fit for you and what they all look like and everything so I think without further ado if you want to see an in-depth collection of my Charlotte Tilbury quads then please keep watching so we have arrived at my vanity and we're going to be taking a look at all of my Charlotte Tilbury quads so I'm just going to put them all right here so here we have all of my quads. As you can see, I have eight of them and we're going to go through these. I'm going to show you in depth what they all look like. So in case you want to buy one too, you kind of know which one would like suit your preferences the best. So let's get started. So the first one I hear, I'm going to start with because this is a limited edition. This is Celestial Pearl and Celestial Pearl was part of the holiday collection of 2021. I believe you can still get this. I will have all of these quads linked down below, the ones that are available. But yeah, I really like this packaging. I think it's so unique and so different. And I think she did a really good job at this packaging. This is like my favorite. And then the back is like a gold with this burgundy sticker on there. I really like this one as well. It's truly beautiful. And when you open it up, this is what this quad looks like. I did a full dedicated review on this, so I will have that linked down below as well. But I feel like this, you can see the shades really well, especially like this shade right here. This is the like duochrome shade. As you can see, if you look at it now, it's pink. But if you look at it in the mirror, it's kind of like a gold. So it really shifts. Now it's more like a green and then it's a pink. So... This shade is really what makes the palette super special for me. And also when you swatch this, like, can you see that? That's a beautiful shade. I just feel like this quad is so, so beautiful. And even though it is an all shimmer quad, you can still make gorgeous look with this. So like I said, this is Celestial Pearl. I really love this one. Then let's take a look at this one because this one is actually no longer available. This is Fire Rose. I'm so sad about it because Fire Rose is a beautiful quad. So the front of this is just this like design. This was from the Holiday collection of 2020 and then she brought it back in March of 2021 and that was when I picked it up but unfortunately it sold out again and didn't come back so that's a little sad but Fire Rose is really really beautiful. I'm still going to show you but you've probably seen this. I've mentioned this on my channel a couple of times. The reason why I love this palette so much is just because I feel like all the shades work together beautifully. And you can really create gorgeous looks with this and this shade here which is like the matte shade it's such a beautiful like burgundy shade. It was only like a very small layer. So when you build that up, it's like a truly like a beautiful shade. I really love that one. So yeah, I just feel like this was such a nice palette. And then this shade here, look at that. What a beautiful rose gold. I just think that is amazing. My hand is going to be so dirty at the end of this video, but I hope the swatches are like helpful. But yeah, like I said, this palette is unfortunately no longer available. So let's move on to the ones that are actually available. So let's take the other one with the different packaging. This is from the Hollywood Exaggerized Collection. So she released three different quads in this style of packaging and formula. So this formula is a little different and you can see the front of the palette looks different as well. So I have mine in shade Star Aura and Star Aura is like the lightest softest version out of the three palettes that she released. So this is what Star Aura looks like. As you can see it's just a beautiful soft pinky brown quad and this reminds me of Pillow Talk but it's just so so beautiful. So let's swatch like this shade. These shades are just like super super soft and I love wearing them. I feel like you can create beautiful looks with that. Like look at these shimmers, how gorgeous are they? So you can definitely create a cohesive look with this because like this brown for instance, it's still really pigmented and even though it has a slight sheen to it, I feel like it does still make a cohesive eye look. So Star Aura is definitely one of my favorite quads. It's really really beautiful and I love the design of this one as well. So this is definitely one I would recommend too. Then here we have the Bella Sophia. 
they just have like the normal style of packaging so I'm not going to show you the packaging but this is what the Bella Sophia looked like and this is one I wasn't like super interested in when I first saw it but then I used it one time in the store and it's such a beautiful quad that I just needed to have it so I got it for Christmas and this is such a beautiful quad the deepest shade has a like sheen to it kind of similar to the one from Star Aura but it's a little deeper but this is just such a beautiful palette and this pop shade is absolutely amazing too you need to warm this one up a little bit but when you swatch it like look at that how beautiful so yeah this is the Bella Sophia this is beautiful for like those deeper eye looks with like a slight hint of like a warm tone to it but it still doesn't look too warm it doesn't look red on the eye or something it's just a really gorgeous brown and I love wearing this with like a brown eye pencil on like the waterline it looks super super beautiful so this is the Bella Sophia definitely one I would recommend as well then right here we have the Queen of Glow and the Queen of Glow is one that I got as a gift with purchase and this was one that I had on my wishes for a while I just never picked it up but then I got it as a gift with purchase and I can tell you it's truly beautiful I feel like this is quite an underrated quad I don't hear a lot about it but it is amazing let me compare this shade to the one from fire rose as you can see this one is more purple whereas fire rose is more like a red undertone but this is just so so pretty and these shimmers are absolutely beautiful we have a beautiful beautiful gold Look at that, how pigmented. And then the shade, the pop shade is super pretty too. It's kind of more of that copper shade. Look at that, how gorgeous. My hand is going to be so dirty. But yeah, the Queen of Glow is a truly beautiful quad. I absolutely love this one too. Then we have the Golden Goddess. And the Golden Goddess was one I wanted to get for like neutral everyday eye looks. And I definitely like it for that. Now you look at this palette and the first thing I thought, why is this called the Golden Goddess? Because it doesn't look gold like at all to me. Like this is gold to me, this one here but this doesn't have like a gold in there. However, if you create a look with this, it is sort of like a gold look. So the shimmer shade here definitely has that gold undertone to it. It's not as like bright gold as this one, but then this like brown also looks pretty. And then this pop shade really is what makes this palette so special. Look at that. That's like a brown with like a hint of gold. And if you want to do like a sort of golden tone look but you don't want to like walk around with like a Fenty Trophy Wife kind of look on your eye then definitely go with this one because this is a gorgeous like sort of muted gold palette with those like hints of gold with but still being like a neutral brown wearable eye look. I just love this one so so much it's so so beautiful and I use all four shades in here so that is the Golden Goddess. Then we have this one, and this one is the Uptown Girl, and the Uptown Girl is the only cool-toned quad from Charlotte Tilbury I have in my collection. And as you can see, it's very different than the rest of the things I showed you, but I love this one. And the reason I love this one is because I feel like cool tones are so underrated. Cool tones look flattering on a lot of people, but everyone always reaches for warm tones. Well, I feel like warm tones don't look flattering on everyone. I don't find them like the most flattering on myself either but yeah this is just a beautiful grayish purple toned palette as you can see it kind of has like a purple hint in there and the shades are pretty like deep they are deep enough to create a look this pop shade is beautiful because it has like a pink pinky undertone to it look at that pop shade right there right there how beautiful. This is just a gorgeous palette, you guys. I feel like this is so, so underrated. I feel like so many people would love the Uptown Girls. This is definitely my favorite cool tone palette in my collection. You guys know I love my Charlotte Tilbury quads, so I'm not going to be saying any one of these are bad. I have decluttered Charlotte Tilbury quads in the past because I found the color story not working the best for me. For instance, the Walk of No Shame I declare because I didn't like how it looked on me. It is a gorgeous quad. I just didn't like it on me. So the quads that I do have in my collection, I absolutely enjoy and I love pretty much all of the Charlotte Tilbury quads. So the last one we have here is Exaggerize and Exaggerize is the one I've had in my collection for the longest and this is one I would recommend if you are into that pillow talk vibe because pillow talk is a beautiful quad too but on some people it can pull a little more peachy rather than pink and this one Exaggerize is a truly like rose gold palette. So I feel like this is such a good palette to create like soft, romantic eye looks it's just beautiful so let me show you like this matte shade in here if I have room 
this is what that looks like so it's kind of like a rosy brown shade and then this shade right here the shimmer right there how beautiful it's like a really pretty rose gold this light one so beautiful it really brightens up the eye as well and then this pop shade look at that how beautiful is that a really nice rose gold type of look as well so I'm running out of space on my hand but yeah this is the exaggerized quad I truly think this is beautiful I've used this one a whole lot and I always enjoy using this so this is definitely one I would recommend if you want that sort of like supermodel very soft romantic eye look really really pretty and yeah then those are all my Charlotte Silvery quads you can always let me know if you have any questions about these and definitely let me know which one is your favorite quad and I will see you in the next one Okay everyone, then this was it for my in-depth Charlotte Tilbury Quad collection. I really hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Let me know which Charlotte Tilbury Quad is your favorite from this video. And also let me know if you own a Charlotte Tilbury Quad, which one do you own? And if you don't own any, which one is the highest on your wish list? And if you did enjoy this video, then I would absolutely love it if you gave it a thumbs up. And don't forget to subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you don't want to miss any of my videos. All of these things would help me so much with my channel and I'd really appreciate it. But with that said, and to thank you guys all so much for watching, I really hope you have an amazing day and I really hope to see you in my next video. Bye!